Hey everybody, Annie Bickle here. I wanted to tell you all about an art camp that I have coming up this June, which is just a few weeks away. It's June 13th through the 17th, and this is for 2022. This camp is hosted by the Holidaysburg Arts Council, which does so much for the Holidaysburg community in terms of the arts. We love the Holidaysburg Arts Council. And the camp is going to be located at Lakemont Park in one of the pavilions. I'm going to tell you a little bit about what camp is like, and I did a similar class years ago. This is the amazing local Kelly Detweiler, and she was a performer for another time that I did this class, and this class is called Art About Music. So I had local musicians come in and play for the students, and then we drew their instrument to be able to study it just using pencil and paper. And then each week we took another art material and explored it even further. So you can see when we studied the bass violin, we used chalk pastels. I love it when a musician can allow kids to see a really up close view of an instrument that they might not have experienced or seen before in person. And the kids were fascinated by the stories that Kelly shared. And then they really had like lots of questions about her instrument in particular because she shared how old it was and how she got it. They loved hearing those kinds of stories and she even let them try it and touch it and they just loved it so much. And you can see we each took a turn, you know, we drew the instrument and then every kid made a very unique art piece at the end using chalk pastels. So you can see a few pieces here and you can see a few more pieces here. They all look very, very unique from each other and the kids are able to maybe think of zooming in or doing the whole thing and choosing their colors carefully. So we also talk about a lot of really great art techniques while we're making that final art piece. Here's another wonderful example. This is uh, my friend Chuck Griswold and he came in and played the trumpet for the class on another week and he, we all drew the trumpet and then we used a colored pencil mixed media um, to make the the final art pieces. The kids really enjoyed seeing his different instruments that he brought along, comparing them, listening to the sounds that made them unique and different from each other. And the kids all got a chance to draw the instruments. And you can see all of them here smiling and really proud of their drawings. And then they followed up by finishing a, a colored pencil project. We had other musicians throughout the weeks that I did this class. We had a guitar player come in, and we're going to have the, a guitar player this summer. We had a percussion performance. The kids really enjoyed being able to try these different instruments. We had a violinist come in and perform for the students. We had... Um, I I also try to do um, people who have who offer private lessons and also local music directors of schools, um, band directors, and this is the Bellwood band director Pat Soxie, and he's showing students um, not just his instrument but the different sound modifiers that he can place on it to create different sounds, and they were fascinated by this. They really liked that, and they also you can see them ready to draw. We had. Um, I did two different uh, bassoon players um, that I had come into the class to show the kids what that sounded like. And we did a printmaking project with that. Oh, there's one more with Mr. Soxy. He's playing. And then there's the kids with their final instruments. So if you're interested in the Art About Music camp, again, it is June 13th through the 17th. We are going to have such a wonderful time. Uh, we are doing it outside at Lake Mont Park, which is going to be a really wonderful, just open air space and under a pavilion. I think it'll be very inspiring. And it's just nice to be outside at that point. Uh, we will have daily guest musicians for the kids to listen to, to hear them play their instruments, to ask questions. A lot of these performers are also private teachers. So if your kid gets really into it um, and interested, you can pursue that on your own. We're gonna use all different kinds of art materials throughout the week. We'll be drawing, we'll be paint making. Um, some groups will be doing printmaking. We'll do a mixed media projects and sculpture projects. 
And here's my age information. So we have a group in the morning from 8.30 to 11, and that is for kids ages six to eight. And we have the afternoon group, which is from 12 p.m. to 2.30 p.m. And that is the older group. So it's ages nine to 11, no, I'm sorry, nine to 12. And you can scan to get the application form by using this QR code. So I'll leave this up for just a second. And then I wanna show you the actual application form, which is this. All of the descriptions for what the class is like is up here. We have a deadline soon approaching. We're gonna extend that by another week. And here's all of the information to mail the application in with your check, making checks payable to certain HAAC, and you would put camp one or camp two in the memo, camp one being the younger children and camp two being the older children. And on the back is another section. And I wanna point out when we made this application form, we didn't know what was going to be coming down the line in terms of COVID. So we put this COVID precaution. However, we are not concerned. Um, you don't need to send a mask with your kids. I will still have hand sanitizer available under the pavilion for kids, um, but you don't need to worry about that as we're just a few weeks out and we are not locally experiencing anything major with COVID, we are not gonna make that a requirement. So the data and photo permissions, I'd love you to sign that so we can take pictures of your kids and share um, the wonderful things that we do on social media. Uh, we never put the kids' names with those with those posts. Um, would like you to send in a snack and water every day with your kid. And then there's just information about drop off and pick up because it's unique being in the pavilion in the Lake Mont Park. Um, we're so excited to try it in Lake Mont Park this year because, um, you know, then you can go and do whatever you want. If you have a morning class, then you can have fun at Lake Mont after or vice versa. So um, one more time back to the application form. You can scan this to get it there. And we really can't wait for you to join us. The last thing is just that it costs $100 to sign up um, for either class. And we can't wait. Here, I'll leave it on the scan me. Um, we can't wait to be ready for June 13th and introduce kids to all of these instruments, all of these musicians, and all of these different ways of making art. Um, I'm the teacher and I can't wait. I hope that you sign your kids up and we're gonna have a great time. Thanks everybody, bye.